shows the horrors of human trafficking, stark and blunt, discovered outside a Walmart in San Antonio, Texas. Ten people are now confirmed dead after they were found inside a stifling hot 18-wheeler semi. About 30 people were found crammed inside that trailer truck. They were alive and taken to hospitals, most of them suffering from signs of heat stroke and dehydration. And we're learning now that the Homeland Security Department will be taking the lead in this investigation. Will Carr is live in our West Coast Bureau with more on this, this just senseless tragedy and uh, something that exposes the horrors of trafficking, apparently. I will. And, and Eric, authorities are saying the inside of that trailer was a scorching oven over 150 degrees. And if they found it 24 hours later, there would have been 38 bodies instead of 10. Police are calling this a horrific case of human trafficking. The survivors are telling authorities they're from Mexico, and at one point, there were more than 100 people inside. Law enforcement learned about the trailer after a man who was inside begged a Walmart employee for water. That employee helped and then called for a welfare check. And that led to the terrifying discovery. The chief of police in San Antonio calling it a mass casualty situation in 100 degree heat. The trailer did not have a working air conditioner. 30 survivors were rushed to the hospital. Many were vomiting, suffering from heat stroke, and some will now have permanent brain damage. Most of the victims were men in their 20s and 30s, but there were also two 15-year-olds as well. We use, utilize at least seven area hospitals to transport these people out. Our paramedics and firefighters found that each one of them had heart rates over about 130 uh, beats per minute, which, uh, again, they were very hot to the touch. So these people were in that trailer without any signs of any type of water. The driver of the trailer was arrested and now faces both state and federal charges. But authorities say this is the works that are much larger than just one man. The acting director of ICE releasing a statement which in part reads, by any standard, the horrific crime uncovered last night ranks as a stark reminder of why human smuggling networks must be pursued, caught, and punished. The trailer was found about 150 miles from the border, very close to I-35, Eric, which is a major smuggling thoroughfare.